exploring like Midwest nostalgia and I don't know the idea of the the mind distorting certain memories of like your past and upbringing. Right now, the ones on the end are my most recent work. They're monotypes uh, that are kind of reminiscent of like high exposure Polaroid photos, at, like taken at night. And I, I think that's a that sort of aesthetic lends itself to the idea of like nostalgia and like old memories. I, I don't know, I kind of, I'm a firm believer that like the work already exists in your head and your body is just sort of like a vehicle uh, that like the art uses to reveal itself, right? So like, I don't think I've fully under, like, begin to understand why it's uh, sort of like revealing itself in this way right now, um, but it's, it's just something that's been like racking my brain for the past like six months or so. Uh, but this is specifically like a really, really cool opportunity because I get to be in a place with a lot of artists that I've never met before and really get some, you know, new new eyes on my work and then be able to sort of understand other people that are coming from like a similar place as me, but also like growing up with like different experiences. Hello, my name is Angie Esparza. I am a graphic design student at St. David University. Um, I mainly work with digital art, appropriate specifically, but also an illustrator for my thesis. My thesis mainly dealt with burnout and discovering my passion again for art, and basically I document my journey through digital illustration. So I basically use my journal where I pull my heart out and I try to illustrate what I was going through this whole year-long journey of finding my passion for art once again. Yes, I'm excited to get my art out there. With a C, especially for people who could relate to it, especially someone going through depression, or someone who just simply wants to find a passion for art once again. Hi, I'm Jonah Mudloff. So this piece is a recreation of the space that my character in a in my comic lives in. As you can see, I'm advertising the link to it there. And uh, with this space, I am uh, trying to show how he lives and kind of his lifestyle and just what, what to expect when you read the comic. But I've also taken some creative liberties to explore some like retro stuff and just some other fun things to make it look cool and engaging. And for the longest time, I knew I wanted to make a comic for my senior project. Um, and when I got to the actual show part, I needed to have something that would go up in the gallery for, uh, for my senior project. And so I thought of an idea to use projection um, and posters. Um, and as I put this together, I just kept thinking of more fun ideas and things to add. And so it just created this cluttered mess of things that I have added. I was not expecting to just get an email like that to invite me to, to share my work at another gallery downtown. And I am so excited to share it with everybody. Um, and very, very happy to be so with some other very talented artists. Hi, my name is Dominique McLean, and I'm a graduate at Governor State University. So my work revolves around tradition. Um, it's the title of the show is called The Temptations of Tradition. And so what I wanted to portray here is this battle that women have against tradition and more specifically being held to a standard of having to have children of their own. The piece behind me here, the spider piece uh, we have, is probably my favorite out of the entire show. Um, it has a lot of detail in it. I think it encompasses that temptation with the pomegranates um, being held out to you to try to entice you to want to continue this tradition of, you know, women getting married, having babies, and living in the home. I think it's wonderful. It's a great opportunity that the Beverly Arts Center is doing this for graduate students like me and all of those that are showing here today. Um, it's exciting to put it, you know, plainly. It was really fun to be able to tell all of my friends and family that I get to show right after. Hi, I'm Alejandra Rodriguez. Um, so this body of work is um, very much so how certain experiences make me feel. Um, so it is very much so not realistic work in any sense. It's more so how it makes me feel and me translating that in onto a canvas. So it's really focusing on line, color, texture, and layers. Um, it's not so much so your traditional style of work. Certain feelings and um, emotions really were the driving force of a lot of the creative decisions that I made. Um, so like in this piece, Are You Mad At Me? 
that type of feeling is very like explosive, but at the same time it's very timid. So the actual texture is very explosive and kind of all over the place, but the color scheme is a little bit more timid. It's a little bit more me and um, a little bit shyer. Or like in this piece, Be My Friend, um, sometimes I maybe feel like I don't make a lot of friends and that feeling is almost like a nagging feeling, just like it's repeating. Um, so I really use like my textures and my layers to kind of show that type of repeatingness uh, throughout the piece. Uh, and like I said, I have like those little aspects in each piece that really show um, my emotions and my feelings through the textures and the layers and the colors. Um, that's really like the driving force for my creative decisions all throughout. I am really excited about being in a gallery um, upon graduation. I know we just put um, all of this work up at like the gallery at school, but to be out in the community already is very exciting. And I'm also just really excited to meet new people and get those conversations going, um, make those connections right away. I think it's really crucial and we all excited for it. Hi, my name is Izzy Nybert or Isabel Nybert. So this is my uh, show that I did for my senior BA presentation. I think I decided on it, calling it Feminine Fury. It's all about, you guessed it, Feminine Fury. Well, the purpose of the show is to really emphasize the juxtaposition between fury and femininity. Because as a society, we're taught that anger is a masculine emotion, while um, sadness is a feminine emotion, and that makes me mad. I don't like that, I think that's silly. So I wanted to make a show that talks about that, because I'm a woman who gets mad, and likes to get mad, and think I should get mad whenever I want. Um, not whenever I want, but you know what I mean. The Medusa piece, I use the pinks and the glitters to kind of really emphasize the juxtaposition, because I wanted it to be like ultra-feminine really lean into the kitschiness of it. And then I used these three smaller pieces and just them in general, exploring like art history kind of, and art history's interpretation of femininity and anger. So Medusa, the purpose of her is to kind of overlook the show, and I think she's the perfect symbol of femininity and fury. Um, she's a symbol of protection throughout um, like history. So I thought it was only appropriate to use her to not only protect the show, but also be the symbol she's always been of like fierce, and um, fierce control of anger and that sort of thing. When I got the email, I thought it was a scam, to be honest. I just sent it to my professor. I was like, is this, there's no way this is real. I'm very excited. I can't wait to kind of flex on everyone, you know, just casually mention I got a show in a gallery right after I graduated.